Michael Franco for CageMinds.com here with Felipe Flip Chavez. We're at the Southwest Grapple Fest and Bellator 97 is just days away. How are you feeling, Flip? No, I'm feeling great. I've had a great camp, great coaches and teammates to work with, um, positive energy through the whole camp, no injuries. My weight's coming off great and I'm ready to go. Injuries, we know that this is the second time now you're scheduled to be in Bellator. You had a fight and win to get in, got back here. How did that whole process feel, you know, getting back from the injury, getting the victory, showing that you could do it? Well, you know, like, like I had a really rough camp on the last one because I was still in the process of recovering from my injury. But luckily, you know, I had a good coaches and teammates who, you know, they've dealt with stuff like that before. They've been in the game for a long time. So we worked around my injuries. We pulled off the W and, you know, now I'm, I'm excited to get on get on the big show and uh, show, show everybody what I'm about. Take on Adrian Cruz, former training partner of yours. For him, this is the second straight fight in a row facing a, a friend. But for you, what do you think of the aspect of taking on someone that you know so well? Well, you know, um, in my eyes, I turn it into a positive thing, and I, I look at it as an advantage because you know I, I know his style, I know his coaches, um, really good. You know, and, uh, I just look at it as a positive thing. We get to go in there and have some fun together. You know, Adrian and I are good friends. He's a, he's a really great guy, great person. You know, inside and outside of the gym. So uh, I just I'm excited to have a good tough opponent in front of me. You know, I don't want to be I don't want to be one of those guys trying to pick his opponents and you know trying to take someone that I know I could beat very easily. I want a good tough fight. You know, that's why I do it because I like to scrap. You know, and that's what I want. So I'm excited about it. And then in that, you guys know each other, but what do you do to keep yourself mentally from falling into that? Well, I know everything he's going to do, because it has well, been some time. I know that time. I don't know anything, everything. I know that I don't know everything, you know, but I just, I do know, I do know that he's tough, you know, so I'm preparing. I know he's in good shape, you know, so I'm making sure that I'm in good shape. It's, it's, it's just, you know, part, it's part of the game, just like with anybody else. So I'm, not, I'm not underestimating him or overestimating myself at all. Then you're getting the opportunity in Bellator. So, say you get a win in this fight, they go backstage, Bajoran Remini comes up to you and says, why do you deserve to be in our next Bantamweight tournament? You're going to tell him what? I'm just going to tell him I deserve to be in there because, uh, because I just whooped that ass. <laughs> That's what I'm going to tell him. We're here at the <laughs> Grapple Fest. You and Adrian are both out here signing autographs, meeting and greeting. What is it like to have done so much press also with the guy that you're going to be standing away from being so buddy buddy throughout the whole process? Um, you know, it's cool. It's fun. Cool. We get to, you know, get be, be near each other and, you know, feel each other's energy and stuff. You know, it, it really, it really ain't any different, you know. Coming off of the submission win over Ronnie White, when you look back at that fight, how did you feel about your performance? You know, I felt, I felt really good about my performance. Um, I did have a little ring rust, but I didn't show it or feel it, you know, but um, I pulled that one off pretty fast. I kind of, in a way, wish I would have, you know, stood the fight back up and uh, and, and fought a little more, but um, hey, I sunk in that triangle and it was there, so I took the fast W. So how much in that do you want to get some more ring time in? Practicing is practice, but there's a different element when it's 100% and it's for money, right? Yeah, you know, um, it's a little different because you have, in the gym, you have so many, you know, you got your teammates and your coaches that you're around every single day, so you're used to their energy. When you walk out in front of, you know, thousands of people, it's a different story. Your nerves, you're nervous, you know, um, it's, 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 it's a different thing. It's something that takes some getting used to. But um, I've been, you know, I've been competing since I was a kid. I started boxing in second grade, you know. I've done tons of jiu-jitsu tournaments. I've done quite a few uh, MMA fights. So I'm, I'm used to it, and I, I learned to use the crowd's energy and uh, use, it, use it for a positive thing towards, towards my, uh, my performance. Well, we thank you for the time. Wanted to know if you had any message to send out to the fans. Um, just come out and support us. So we're going to put on a good show. And um, I love all of you guys. I want to thank my sponsors uh, Lucky's Lounge, Damage Control, Mouthpiece, um, Swag Custom Printing, Screen Printing, um, Enchanted Development Homes, uh, my gym, Mean One, my coaches, Chris Avila, Chris Trout, Hein, Thomas. I love all you guys. Thanks for the help.
Thank you for the time, Flip, and see everyone. Bellator 97, July 31st, Rio Rancho, Santa Ana Star Center. We'll see you there. Thanks, bro.